What was the most horrible thing you saw in school? A kid hung himself on a playground our senior year. I hear his brother found him. This all happened a week after two of the brother's friends, also seniors, died when they wrapped their classic Mustang around a tree near the HS. Made for a rough senior year to say the least. It was a rival football game and the stands were packed. A section of the old wood bleachers collapsed and 20 or so students went to the hospital with numerous broken bones, concussions, and lacerations of various degrees. During the same game, I saw a guy get hit so hard in the leg that it shattered and both bones were showing. Poor kid ended up in a wheelchair for the rest of the school year. A girl was coming back from a doctor's appointment and wasn't there to hear that we couldn't get out equipment for a recess. She opened the door, grabbed something and went to leave. The wind kicked up and slammed the door on her hand and she lost a finger. They rushed her to the hospital and they sewed it back on and eventually it was back to normal but that was the most ducked up thing I had seen. I and a bunch of other kids came upon the corpse of a kid who had committed suicide on the school premises the day before, which was a Sunday. He had shot himself in the head in the nice landscaped area that was designated as the official socializing area for the grade 12 students, he was in grade 12. It was established later that he had had some gripes with other kids in his grade and his teachers and was overall depressed and nihilist. That is why he chose for his body to be discovered by school students to make his death have a lasting impact on those he considered his enemies. It was very early in the morning and still fairly dark. When I arrived there was only six other people already there, two of them girls who were crying. Eventually there were some early bird teachers on the scene and they phoned the police and began chasing away other kids, blocking off the area. I got to see him though. It was not a very grisly scene as it was a neat shot through the temple but there was a very large amount of dried blood that had run like a river down the pavement to a grassy patch where it stopped. Someone found our choir teacher in a peer and how video, he had to come to school the next day but he couldn't teach class so he was just aimlessly walking around school all day, by that time, everyone had either seen the video or they knew about it, he eventually got fired. When I was 8 we were making cookies in class and they gave us square cheese graters to make chocolate chips with, because they didn't trust us with knives, a fair judgment. Some kid was holding a few graters and pretended to be a robot, this girl speeded him because he wasn't a robot and proceeded to take one of the graters and grate his hand. Lots of blood happened and then a pair of twins fainted. In my school there was a kid, or multiple kids, we don't know, who would shit in a urinal every once in a while. They were known as the urinal shitter. Someone made a meme with the grim reaper going to the doors template with all the bathrooms they had done it in, and the reaper going into the last bathroom, the office bathroom. The meme spread very quickly and I guess some teachers saw it. Since there is blood in the meme, coming from under all the closed doors, they decided it was a credible threat of violence. They closed the school for two days for safety concerns. Just a super weird story all around. There was one kid in my high school that everyone bullied relentlessly. He was pretty overweight and nerdy but a good kind-hearted person in general. One really popular girl, possibly hottest and meanest in the whole school decided to humiliate him so she seduced him and told him to wait for her in the bathroom stall. When she met him over there she lifted her shirt and told him to drop his pants. When he exposed himself she pulled out her phone and snapped a picture then sent it to everyone she could telling everyone he was creeping on her and flashed her. He got suspended and was gonna be prosecuted. Few days later he hit her with his car leaving her paralyzed and then killed himself. Having a guy who killed his wife then come to the school and held my class hostage to try to force the school to give him his son so he could kill him. He was finally caught on his way to kill his parents. Another thing, kind of. My chemistry teacher, years after I graduated, worked at the school with his wife. They had adjoining classrooms. He shot and killed the vice principal after school. He was in a meeting with him and the union rep because he was accused of inappropriate contact by a female student. Went out to his car to get his gun came back and killed the VP. Many years ago I sat next to a kid in high school who went on to kill his mom. He would always bring in photos of homemade bombs from 2 liter bottles, flamethrowers from squirt guns, etc. I thought it was the coolest thing and was so impressed by it until later on when I received recognized I was encouraging it to be murderer to keep being violent. I worked at an American school in China a while back. One day, 
One of the school buses was on the way to campus from the city and there was an accident that students saw. A truck ran over a man riding his bicycle. The students on the bus witnessed the accident and watched as the man lay dying on the road. They were stuck in traffic and couldn't get away from the horrific scene for over 20 minutes. Kids were crying and traumatized. Most of them were elementary school students. There was a lot of grief counseling in the months after that. We were in fourth grade and class just let out for a five minutes break. I was with a group of girls and we walked into the bathroom. On the far wall was a giant ring of shit painted in the shape of a heart. There was even visible undisguised food in the faces that, for some reason, is burned into my memory. There was a kind of a witch hunt. The principal called out students in the hallway, one by one, to question the kids. No one confessed as far as I remember, but there was a lot of suspicion surrounding a boy who liked to talk about butts and flatulence. I'm not even sure that he did it, but make too many poop jokes in class and something like this happens, you are suspect number one. Watch two girls get into a fight. One girl had a bunch of ear piercings and was wearing so many hoops it looked like chain mail. The other girl got her on the ground, grabbed those hoops and pulled hard. I will never forget the scream. The rings didn't give, but her ear sure as hell did. Blood everywhere, the girl standing over her like a goddamn psychopath holding a very recognizable ear in the air above her head. It was ducking Mortal Kombat in real life. There was a girl I was friends with who had developed early and had pretty big boobs and considered thick for a fifth grader. Hanged with a group of five or six girls, most of the girls in this group were short, skinny, and the pretty ones of the class so she stuck out from that group. During recess these five girls ganged up on her and pulled down, sometimes ripping her shirt exposing her chest and laugh cause they thought it was funny. She'd fight it and tell them to stop but they'd do it even more sometimes pinning her arms to the side so they could. She ended up hanging out with me more and finding different friends in middle school. Our school bully, nasty piece of work we'll call C, ripped the wig off a new student, A, who had recently returned from cancer treatment, they got into it and A was suspended despite multiple witnesses. We suspect even the teachers were slightly scared of C. Next day as we were leaving, A was waiting outside for the doors to open, comes straight in, grabs C's hair, slams her head into a locker then proceeds to pull out a huge pair of scissors and violently chops off as much hair as she can before the teachers intervene. She was obviously expelled, but man, she's still my hero. Bully C was definitely put in her place after that and absolutely toned down her torment of everyone else. Wish I knew what became of A. We had this real pervy dude who later threatened to shoot up the school. He would constantly grab girls and harass people and eventually he decided to duck around with the sister of two identical twin brothers who are nearly 6 feet 6 inches. Needless to say they tore him apart. Hit him so hard his shoe flew off then beat him for another 30 seconds. He was covered in blood, could hardly walk, and had his other shoe stolen by the twins. As they were being escorted out in cuffs everyone started cheering and yelling to free them. I went to school in Southern California. Our school had two rival gangs along with a dozen or so full-time bouncers with nightsticks. We had KFC, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, and a standard cafeteria to choose from for lunch. This day I decided to eat in the cafeteria. As I walk in I see a tall skinny black guy punch this Latino chick in the face. She stayed down for maybe a second, and got up a completely different person. Fueled by pure rage alone she turned and focused all of her attention on the guy that hit her. He was still celebrating his short-lived victory when both of her feet left the floor and she flew at him. She punched his face repeatedly as he tried to block the repeated blows being rained down on him by this little ball of fire. Now keep in mind, she was a good 6 to 8 shorter than he was, in one seemingly fluid motion she wrapped an arm around his head, planted both feet, and she straight up suplexed him, WWE style, into a table, and let him drop to the floor on the other side. By the time one of the guards made it in, the black dude had snuck away in shame and everything else was back to normal as though nothing had happened. I went to grab some pizza instead. There was quite a trend with with snorting cocaine looking powders for parts of my 11th grade year. It started with pixie stick dust and draining the color out of them or adding something to get that white hue. Became so common that everybody shooting it up thought it came from the pixie sticks. At some point I went into the bathroom during this trend and ran into a distributor, fellow student, crushing an amorphous hardened liquid type substance on the hand wash counter. 
I have no idea if he was on something, but I asked what that was since it didn't look like the pixie shit I was used to seeing. He actually said he ran out of money and time to buy those sticks and manually turn the contents white, and has since been going into the bathroom, jerking off onto a piece of glass, hides the glass, comes back later in the day to wait for it to harden, then crushes the hardened cum, and sells that off. I said, oh. And I walked out.